So I want to talk about uh, Google Keep, the new note-taking app that they released this week. But first, why don't you tell us a little bit about the device that you're going to show it off on. Yeah, this here is the HTC One. This is the new flagship from HTC. And it is a fantastic, really, really impressive smartphone. It's not out in the US yet. This is actually a um, Europe and Asia uh, version of the handset. But hopefully it'll be right, arriving in the US soon. When can I buy it? Well, HTC hasn't given us a date yet. They're actually... They were hoping to get it out in March. That may or may not happen. Probably not yeah. because of supplier delays. They they can't get parts because they're not selling as many phones as Samsung and these other guys. Oh, really? Yeah. So they're having a hard time fulfilling it's a massive the U.S. Bummer. market. It is a massive bummer. Uh, because it's a great, it's a phone. great phone. Yeah. Uh, but when it does come out, I mean, you know, is it going to be one of those things where they put it out on all the networks since it's a flagship phone? Yeah. Actually, this phone's going to be coming out on T-Mobile, AT&T, and Sprint. Uh, there are rumors that the one will arrive for Verizon. Uh, HTC hasn't confirmed that yet, but let's hope so, because that would be a beautiful thing. We'll hold out hope for the one. Yeah, yeah, it is. It this is this the is one. the successor to the the One X and the One X Plus. Right? Yes, this is like yes. the next big thing. And the One X and One X Plus were um, some of our favorite Android handsets last year. So this one. No changes. I mean, oh, changes man. to the phone, but no changes to how we feel about HTC's big phones. Oh yeah, I mean they they always come through with quality. Um, it's a shame that more people don't actually buy them. Uh, you know, because well, they make really good stuff. Well, here's you know, you know? something else to entice people to uh, you know buy it. Yeah, um, which is that it's run snappy and that Google Keep looks really good on it. Go, everything looks good on it because their version of Android is as close to stock Android as damn near anybody making. An Android phone. It's fantastic. Except for the Nexus devices. Except for, which is just stock Android. So tell us a little bit about Keep. So Keep is an app that I wish Android would have had basically since the since the beginning. Google has never had a native note taking you know checklist app. Well, they've had tasks. They've had tasks, but that but was that's sort, sort of part like of a, Gmail. Yeah, and you've had and it was like really clumsy to get to it in Gmail. And it was web based. It's it's a pain in the butt, and it doesn't really work well on the mobile side. Right now, if you have an iPhone, you have Notes and you have reminders, and those sync with your calendar, and they work really well. Um, there are a lot of third party apps. A lot of people use Evernote for things like this, but Android has never had an answer to that problem built in, baked in, and now finally Google is serving something up. So what you can do here, you can like jot down notes, um, you can create lists like a grocery list, you can record your own little voice uh, reminders and then you, it'll transcribe it for you and play back uh, a recording of the reminder for you. And you can take photos and then save them here as like a photographic reminder. And then you can share that to any social network you want through right. Android. You could publish it to Instagram even if you want. Yeah, yeah. So uh, one of my favorite things about Evernote was that it was one of the first apps that I saw where you could take a picture of like a wine label. Yeah. And then there's OCR. So it'll read the name of the wine and the producer and everything. And then it'll, you know, it'll make that text searchable. So you search for, you know, Merlot and it brings up all the labels, the pictures of the labels. Yeah. You didn't tag them or anything. Yeah, just knows that they say Merlot on them. Yes. So and does it have anything like that baked in? No, nothing like that yet. There's okay. nothing like that. Um, they, they have the capability to do that. Yeah, Google Goggles does some of that kind of stuff. I mean, they, they have the capability to do that. They also have the capability to, you know, integrate this with Calendar, which they haven't done yet. So okay. you can't have like a timed reminder here. You can't take a note here and then add it to your, you know, your Gmail or your calendar to set up a timed reminder or anything like that. No location-based reminders either which is something that iOS offers. So there's still a lot of features here that are lacking. Mm -hmm. So if you're an Evernote user, Keep's probably not gonna pull you away, but if you've never gotten an Evernote and you're living in the Google ecosystem and that's about it, then you're probably really gonna dig this. Okay, I'm still a bit of a conspiracy theorist about it where I think maybe they didn't do that because they didn't wanna steal anybody else's thunder, but it's also possible they just needed to get something out. I think, I, I think it, it might be more that. Difficult. Yeah, I think it might be more <laughs> that. I mean, there's a lot of stuff I'd like to see. I'd love to see that. I'd love to see location-based reminders. I'd love to see integration with you know, right now it just really integrates with Google Drive. I'd love to see it like work with Calendar and Gmail and all sorts of stuff. So, and it is nice that you get notifications of widgets out of it. Yeah, that is pretty cool. There's even a widget so you can add a, rem a reminder or a note from your lock screen. You don't even have to get into the phone. Um, so that's nice. pretty. That's pretty awesome. Handy, handy. Yeah. All right, Google Keep. Awesome. Thanks for that. No problem. Uh, we're gonna bring on Robbie to talk about the Kindle. 
So uh, something new from Amazon this week? Yeah, so they've uh, they pushed out a send to Kindle button. So if you have a WordPress blog or if you're a major site or with a developer, of course, you can add the send the send the Kindle button to your site. So if you have an article, usually long reads, um, you can just click on it and it'll send it to your Kindle. It has you log into your Amazon account and That's send cool. it off. And most people are, who are Amazon customers are usually logged in persistently. Yeah, in their browser yeah. Anyway. always looking to buy something on their Prime account, like deodorant or whatever. So it's so it's just it automatically just delivers it, Whispernet, whatever, to your Kindle and all your Kindle apps? Yeah, so it'll send it to your, like your, your Kindle and all your Kindle apps. Now, you can use WhisperNet, mm -hmm. but um, it'll charge you for, for the data. But if it, for, for Wi-Fi, it's free. So yeah. if your Kindle's connected to Wi-Fi, it'll just send it to your Kindle. You can choose, you know, if you have like three Kindles or yeah, Kindle and a couple of Kindles and a couple of apps, you can choose which ones it sends to in the settings. Oh, that's cool. So you're like, oh, I only want to go to the Kindle app on my iPhone or I only want to go to my actual physical Kindle. So this isn't something like, um, you know, Instapaper or Readability where, you, like, I as a user can install a bookmarklet to save something. This is something that a publisher can use? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. So it is, it is like, you know, like Instapaper Pocket um, where you can, you know, you can't, they, they do have actually a, a um, an extension for Chrome and Firefox for Send to Kindle. And, oh, they do? Yeah. Okay. But this is, I mean... It's right there at the top of the article, next to like Twitter and Facebook, and if you're still using, you know, Stumble Upon or whatever. <laughs> so it's right in front of everybody, in front of all these eyes. So it's probably bad news for Pocket and, and uh, Instant Paper. You know, it might be, but it, I think it's also kind of a different use case. Mm -hmm. Like uh, the people who are into Pocket and Instant Paper are very much, you know, like iPhone people or you know Android phone people, mm -hmm. whereas people who are into the Kindle are all about the Kindle. Like if they're reading yeah. something, they're on the Kindle. I see them on the bus, and I'm married to one of them. That's you know, yeah, I'm, I'm you know, and, and, and it's we're like, not married. I'm just... <laughs> but yeah, you know, there's people who just they read everything on the Kindle, and if yeah. they're reading on their phone, it just feels weird, and they don't do it. So, yeah, I don't, I don't read on my phone at, at all really anymore. Really? I send everything to the Kindle, or I read it on the computer. And, so. I think I think I'm right now. I'm probably about half half. Yeah, I read books on the Kindle and like singles, and that's about it. But yeah, I, I'm a huge instant paper fan. Yeah. I'm way into it. I uh, throw almost everything to there and then like read it on the bus or laying in bed or whatever. Cool. Uh, so, what is it? Is it out now? Is it something that. It like, is out now. It's on the, uh, the Washington Post, uh, Time, and another site whose name escapes me. Okay. But, um, you know, anyone who has a WordPress blog, you can add it to it. And then they have it set up so developers for other sites can put it on there. So, so we could have it on Wired if we wanted to. That's cool. Um, can you then, style the button? Or is it styled with a little Amazon? There's, logo? there's like, you could change it a little bit. They, if you go to the developer blog, you can see where you can change the, the, the font and make the, yeah, you can style it up a little. Okay. So let's revisit this in a couple of months and see how it's doing. Yeah. And uh, I know they don't release numbers for everything, but we can They don't release guess. numbers for anything. <laughs> um, anyway, that's the latest news from the Amazon front. Thank you, Robbie. Thank you. And uh, we'll see you next time.